So today I've got a 55 Chevy sedan finished up for a good customer of mine. Car came to me, a painted body shell, and I ended up finishing up putting the motor and transmission in, completely wiring it, plumbing it, get it up into a running condition. The guy that I've helped out with, it's been really, really great. He's let me take it to a lot of car shows for him and stuff like that. Uh, he's kind of busy with time, so he doesn't have time to do it. So he allowed me to take it out and we've done pretty well with the car show circuit here with it. Let's uh, talk about it a little bit. So the engine in this car is pretty unique. It's a uh, small block Chevy bottom end aftermarket Motown block. 421 cubic inch, but it does utilize the late model LS heads. Kind of a unique deal, like I say, it makes really good power, uh, 611 on the dyno. Motor's backed up by a Tremec six-speed transmission. It's got a 430 gear in it. It's really a fun car to drive. I mean, it'll really, really get after the tires if you let it. There again, the whole bottom uses a basically a uh, standard small block Chevy uh, configuration, the rods, pistons, all the external accessories, but it does have LS heads. That kind of created a little bit of a challenge getting headers because you kind of got a little mismatch of both going on. Luckily, Holly has a set of headers for an LS swap in this particular car, which does have a Flaming River rack and pinion unit. They make a set of headers exactly for that combination. The unique thing about it is Bill Mitchell, the guy that owns World Products, who forges this block. I called him and was talking to him about uh, trying to hook up the heater con uh, heater core uh, and he said the whole idea behind this block it was developed basically for the dirt track racers that you could run a small block Chevy as long as it was a small block Chevy you could run any style heads well it's really tough to beat the flow of a late model LS head so that's what they did incorporated it so you've got a little bit of both going on there made it totally legal for the dirt track rules uh, Plus it, uh, it makes really, really good power also. So the interior of this car, I had a local shop here, Downey's uh, Auto Upholstery. Uh, they took care of all the interior and the trunk. Nothing really extravagant about it. It kind of fits the whole theme of the car. It's kind of subtle, but kind of you know wild at the same time. Customer wanted just kind of a basic design that kind of mimicked a lot of the stock 55 original type design. Has been upgraded with Dakota Digital Gauges, uh, vintage air air conditioning, helps out with creature comforts, makes it a little bit more comfortable. Car has been dynamated, you know, just like I do most of the others. So even as throaty as the motor and exhaust is, it's still pretty calm and comfortable ride on the inside of it. So the trunk on this, the upholstery shop took care of that also, made it pretty nice. Uh, got a couple of panels that pop out real easy to get access to the battery and uh, everything else. Kind of neat, it's all done up on magnets so it really holds it in tight and real easy to pop out, you know, to gain access to the battery and anything else mounted in behind the seat. So the tires and wheels on this, it's got a shot custom wheel 20 by 12. It's got a 315 uh, 35 tire on it. Pretty good, there again, drag radial type tire. The whole suspension on this car, it's the factory 55 frame but it does have a triangulated four link in it, uh, coil overs all the way around, four nine inch with 430 gear, wheel wood disc brakes, all corners, got a full custom three inch uh, stainless steel exhaust on it, aftermarket tank, you know, tank sink, has a fuel injection pump built into it for the Holley sniper system on the motor and works pretty good, pretty reliable combination. All right, so the paint on this car is a little bit unique, basically the stock, configuration of the factory two-tone but the white is just a base white and the uh, gray is actually that Candid classic clay whatever I've taken it to a car show I mean had quite a few comments about the color combination nothing wrong absolutely with the turquoise and white the red and whites but some people seem to think it's a little refreshing to see something just a little bit out of the normal which it's just the color combination. It's still the factory design of the two-tone, but uh, a lot of people seem to dig it. So going back to the motor deal, like I say, that motor was pretty stout when it was dynoed. It had a real nice race carburetor with the milled air horn and everything. Customer seen that it was a little bit touchy to start, you know, without having any choke or anything. So there again, his background is not necessarily the car related stuff. So trying to make it as reliable and easy for him as I could. He was asking me about the fuel injection and if that would help with the cold starts and everything I said sure it would so we ended up before it was ever even finished really we went ahead and put the Holley sniper system on it and 
uh, seems to work out really well for him. Like I mentioned before and all that, the clutch and transmission on this Magnum six-speed transmission from Tremec uh, does have a really nice McLeod dual disc clutch setup, quick time bell housing, pretty good combination for, you know, you can run this motor pretty high. I mean, I run it up about 7,500 RPM, you know, banging gears on it and everything. And kind of nice having that peace of mind, knowing that, you know, if something does happen, I mean, it's all contained within that bell housing. So like I say, this car came to me kind of partially finished. Uh, I completely finished it up for the guy. I kind of take them on as partial finishes or complete. Bring me old crusty rusty car. We'll start from the ground up and go. Just depends on where the customer really wants to be with it. But uh, like I say, if you ever have any questions, comments, or whatever, look me up on Facebook, Brett Lobel, uh, Lobel Customs. Happy to hear from you or answer questions if I can. Thank you. Gotta live hard, maybe die young. Don't let them get you down, cause they're all around.